Okay, welcome to tutorial number one of coding a Flappy Bird game in Scratch. Flappy Bird is a game where uh, the bird is constantly dropping down and every time I click it moves it back up and we have to get it between the pipes. Uh, if we hit the pipes obviously we lose the game. Uh, also if we hit the ground we lose the game as shown. There are a lot of things happening here. Uh, in tutorial number one right now we're going to look into creating the backdrop, the scenery behind uh, what's going on with our Flappy Bird game. Uh, and we're also going to code the bird uh, to move up when clicked or when the space bar is hit and uh, drop down constantly. In the next tutorials we'll look into making the trees going by, the pipes, losing the game, and additional elements. This is the game that we're looking to create. Or we're going to duplicate this exact one right here. Uh, of course yours does not need to be exactly like this, but the tutorials will take you through uh, making this thing right here. Again, if we hit the pipes, we lose. And also, if you hit the ground, uh, it's coded to uh, do game over as well. So going into our brand new Scratch uh, Arena, we'll get rid of the cat, and we will put in our backdrop first. So we'll choose a backdrop, one that's preloaded. The Blue Sky one actually looks very similar to the example Flappy Bird game we saw before. Uh, we have green pipes going by, so I don't like this background right here to be green. So I'm going to go into the actual... Uh, scenery here, and I'm going to uh, make all of these things white. If I hold the shift key down, it allows me to select them all at the same time, get rid of the outline, and to fill them all in white. All right, now that that is done, we will look into making the bird that's going to be over here flapping uh, its wings, uh, then, of course, constantly dropping down and move back up by some type of key. So we will go and choose a sprite, narrow it down with animals, and I believe down here we have the parrot. This is the one that I use. It's pretty large right now, so we can take that down to, I believe, 20 was the size I had. Uh, then we can go ahead and code it to flap its wings, and then we want those movement commands to go in there. So for our costumes, this one's already set up to have the wings up and the wings down, and we want to oscillate or cycle back and forth between the two of them. So we will say, Whenever our game is started, we are going to forever go back and forth between those two costumes. Uh, under looks, we have switch between costumes. All right, from parrot B to parrot A. Now, if I were to check this right now, that is happening, but it's happening so fast that you can't see it. So we need to put a delay in between each one of these costume changes. So we'll go into events, so excuse me, we'll go into control and we'll put in that wait for a number of seconds so you can see it happening. Uh, you can choose any number you want. I believe uh, 0 0.2 seconds is about what you want to have to give the animation that you want. But again, it's your game. Uh, you can make it look whatever way you want it to be. So now we have our parrot that is flying or our bird that's uh, flapping its wings. And uh, we'll code it now to constantly drop down. Uh, then to move up when you hit some type of key. We can get this thing out of the way because um, we don't need to touch this anymore. Uh, I like this to be its own separate coding. You could very likely embed it into uh, one line of code over here, but I like that to just happen no matter what's going on with the, uh, the keys and the, the game over anything. This is just constantly happening until the game is over. Okay, so for our motion now, we want our bird to be over here on this side of the screen. Our X coordinate does not change for our bird. If you notice from gameplay, uh, X coordinate being it moving left or right on the screen. Although the animations show that it's a bird, <laughs> it's probably going to be flying forward. Uh, the bird itself on the screen doesn't actually move. All right, if we're a little confused by that, if you look at it the whole time, it never really goes left or right. It just goes up or down. All right, that's very similar to a lot of these games in the past that we've seen where you have to go right on the screen the actual player doesn't really move their X coordinate. So our X stays the same. Uh, right now we're at negative 189. Uh, if you want to change that around, you can, but 189 is about good to be over here on this side of the screen. Our Y coordinate, again, is what we're going to be changing. So we will say, whenever our flag is checked, we want this thing to, first of all, go to this position that it's at right now. So we'll start the game. We're going to be right there. Right, negative 189 or 13, uh, negative 189 for X, 
and y is going to be 13. I'm actually going to change that to 0, so we start exactly in the middle of the screen. Okay, uh, then now, after our two second delay, as we see from all of our Flappy Bird games, there's a slight delay in the beginning to give you some time to get your hands on the keys. We're going to change y by a negative number to have it drop down. So we will put in here control. We just want to wait two seconds. And then once I get my hands on the keys, we'll start changing our y coordinate. We'll say negative four. So let's see how that's going. We're flying along, two seconds, and then we start to drop down. Okay, now that we drop down, we want to put in, if the space bar is hit, start raising back up. All right, so we'll bring it back up here, and now we'll put in our if statement for when space bar is hit, come back up. All right, again, I'm using space bar. If you want to have it to be something else, uh, mouse click, or I don't know, one of your other keys that you can do in Scratch. It's a very simple um, way to make it your own. So we have, when the spacebar key is pressed, we're going to want to change y by a positive number. And I believe the number I used before was 8. So we'll say change y by 8. All right, let's see how it's going here. Cool. So the spacebar is bringing me up, constantly dropping me down, and we are good to go.